Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. You all right, Bull? Yeah. Guess I'll have more free time without having to write all those reports. Bull. Boss, let me have this one, all right? This one needs to be mine. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those vents. Good to see you, Inquisitor. That fight against the Venatori was a bit dicey. We knew that you and the Chief had our backs, Your Worship. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sackmead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. So there's a tough call for sure. So do you want the Canari as allies, or do you want to ask one of your companions to lose everything that they've had in their lives for as long as they can remember? Because it's an entire order of- an entire company of people that would have been decimated to secure an alliance with another shapeless force in a world where we're constantly forming and losing alliances with everyone we can and it often doesn't even feel like it amounts to much but bull is right here and these are real people and sacrificing them it's it's hard to it's hard to justify sometimes because this it's such a large scale conflict affecting so many people that at some point it's hard to justify being like oh but if we sacrifice these people's lives we'll have a victory here Right here! It's like, yeah, but that won't fix the war. Like, I might sacrifice the Chargers to defeat Corypheus. If that was the end of all of it, that might be the kind of call you'd have to make, but... Sacrifice the Chargers to determine the fate of an individual Lyrium smuggling vent... An individual smuggling venture? Like, at some point, you gotta question when the sacrifice is worth it. And I don't know if it was in this case. But anyway, we'll see if Bull has any more input at this point. And hey, all these people are alive now. His entire company could have been wiped out. They really like to play the Sarah song, don't they? I like it too, but still. You wanted to see me? Oh, I got it! I yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming. Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you were the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek. Liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrath? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talvashoth. Talva fucking Shoth. You don't need to say Talva Shoth like it's an insult. This isn't about you, boss. But I'm Talva Shoth too, just like you. No, you're not. Not really. You grew up with a family. You never knew anything different. 
I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turned their back on the Kuhn. And now I'm one of them. You're not a Talvashoth. That's a Kunari word. And you don't follow the Kuhn any longer. You're Iron Bull. Mercenary captain for the Inquisition. I can live with that. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. People person! I have... Don't actually know what that is, let's find out. <laughs> That was an incredibly endearing scene with the Iron Bull, though. Become friends with at least three of your inner circle in one playthrough. People person. Alright. Wow. Looks like I've skipped a bunch of things that people normally take more time to do. Like, apparently normal pe Apparently people have normally had sex by now. And liberated three keeps. Wow. And chose a specialization class. And hit level 20. <laughs> Looks like I'm doing some of these companion quests faster than other people do. Who are my three friends, though, is what I'm wondering. Huh, is it... I wonder if that's determined... If the friend uh, status is determined by a... Uh, how do I put this? Is it determined by me doing their quest? Or is it determined by me just hitting a specific level of approval? Because I've done more than three people's companion quests, but there's people who don't like me, I guess. One of which is probably Sarah. I, kind of, I probably pissed her- I kind of pissed her off after I did her companion quest. Oh well. It also- also, the, the math gets confusing when you consider it might only mean companions, as in not Liliana, and not Colin, and not Josephine. Because I've done Josephine and Liliana's quests, but they don't- maybe they don't count towards that- who cares? It's a- it's a- it's a trophy. I'm gonna get all of them anyway. I mean, if- if the rarest trophy in the game is beating the game on Nightmare, I'm, I'm pretty de I'm pretty much on my way at all at this point. I'm just gonna check in with Colin because I realize it's been a while. Granted, it's always been a while since I've talked to most people because there's so many of them. <laughs> I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was... not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. The past isn't always pleasant. Sometimes you have to let go and move on. I can't forget what happened, but it led me here. I can make that mean something. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I've met good people here. Knowing they have my back, it helps. You certainly keep interesting company. I suppose I do as well. So Cullen has definitely recovered to some extent from his his lyrium withdrawals and various stages of coming completely apart. And that's good to know, because we're, we're making progress here. Everyone is becoming a whole in stealing themselves for the final battle. It's very, very reminiscent of Mass Effect 2's uh, sequence of uh, companion missions you would do to ensure that they, uh, they had a better chance of surviving uh, the final mission. That's kind of what's going on here, is we're, we're helping people realize who they are, or better themselves, in the days coming up to the final events. Hello, Cole. He was dead the whole time. He didn't know. 
I believe that's a reference to the sixth sense. May I ask how things are, now that you're more of a spirit? Questions can be shackles, but you kept me in kindness. I will answer. You don't mind killing people, even being more of a spirit. Monsters are easy, mindless, menacing. It's harder when it's people. Venatori, bandits. People who could change, but they chose. They hurt people. We need to stop them. My blades are yours to command. I forget later, so it washes clean. That's a little dark. He's... In order to cope with the fact that he's killing people, he erases the memory altogether. Although the fact that he remembers that he forgets is also slightly confusing. Can you tell me more about what happened at the Spire? You and the real Cole? I don't remember. I let that go. It isn't part of me anymore. What is it like to be this way? I'm me. More me than I was. I can care and comfort, but keep clean. No shackles. They feel, forgive, forget, and I am free. Finally. Thank you. It's kind of, it's, it kind of feels like he might be Baymax or something. I guess Baymax probably had more uh, direct connection, though, to people than Cole might at this point. He is he's essentially a force for good and benevolence, but he, but he's essentially a machine for... Well, actually, a, a force is actually an entirely accurate way of, of describing it. When people say force, they mean it as a compliment. Like, this is a person who's a force for good. Like, it's like, they're just so good and everything, but this is... No, he's like... He's genuinely like a literal force for good, where he just he doesn't he doesn't have the empathy he doesn't have the level of uh, he doesn't necessarily feel the emotions or get attachments he just has this driving goal to improve everything, which has its place for sure for sure. Can you tell me more about the fade now that you're more connected to it? It is here, but held. Constrained by a construct, veiled, feelings, memories, minds, mortality, all shape it. A glass to hold water, we flow to the deep. Without you, we have nothing, not even us. That's why we want so much. I'll talk to you later. Yes. The Arl's Invitation oper Operation available. I wonder if that's specifically re related to the fact that Colin... Oh yeah, it's probably because Colin came in. Because uh, we I sent Colin in to make reparations. And seemingly in the result, it looks like we have a chance to meet uh, the Arl specifically. So we'll see how that is. Sarah's supposed to be in here. Why is the door closed? One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Corinthians. Right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That and Briala being an idiot. The whole thing would have gone different if that little piss up wasn't in the middle. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. I'm 100% with, with uh, Sarah on this one. I have, I have no patience for the machinations and general bullshit that occurs in Orlay. And... That, that, uh, it's funny because there's people who uh, they get Sarah in the group and they there's people who hate Sarah 
And I get it. She's one of the more she has. There's more friction between her and 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 people in general, like in a sort of Morgan sort of way. But unlike Morgan, who was this weird, almost sociopathic, uh, isolated from society type, like Sarah is someone who she's like more of a Robin Hood. Not even necessarily Robin Hood specifically, but just the idea of like, hey, I'm for the people. Like. Let's just, all of our missions are about improving things for regular people instead of improving things for some asshole that has a castle. And it's, it's, it seems like an entirely noble goal to me. I guess I feel more for the way that Sarah approaches things simply because that's kind of the way that I think about things in many cases. Like, I just saw the movie American Sniper, and everyone thinks of it as a war between, uh, like these, these Iraqi... Terror, there's Iraqi terrorists and American snipers, American soldiers, and so on. But the whole movie, I'm focused on the fact, like, hey, look, there's a family that's getting torn apart and destroyed by this conflict. Oh, look, there's another family be having terrible things happen to them in the middle of this war-torn state. And like, that's that's the thing that I'm focused on for the entire movie is the little people that are getting uh, just terrorized. That that's that's why I can't take a. It's always a problem for me in the like every time I see Transformers movies aside from all the other reasons that they're terrible movies is just the fact that like hey look this city's destroyed okay cool so massive death on a crazy scale who's the hero again <laughs> hello morgan we haven't spoken in a while i understand you have spared the gray wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them tis good of you considering the weakness corypheus exploited was their own doing still should a true archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. One thing which makes me curious, did you encounter the hero of Ferelden at Adamant Fortress? Was the hero of Ferelden a friend of yours? We traveled together during the time he fought the Blight. I helped him and he helped me. Without him, Kieran would never have been born. Regardless, did you see him? I met no one by that title. When the Champion of Kirkwall mentioned a Grey Warden ally, I assumed that ally would be he. It was, after all, just the sort of thing in which he would involve himself. But that rather begs the question, if the hero of Ferelden was not at Adamant, where is he? My suggestion? Track him down. He could be a great aid against Corypheus, or a terrible foe to the Inquisition. You seem to know a great deal about Elven lore. The Dalish are not the only ones interested in the distant past, Inquisitor. Indeed, my skills allow me access to places the Dalish dare not even dream of. The ancient Elves hold secrets they have not yet given up. Secrets about the foundation of Thedas itself. Thus, they are my focus. Corypheus clearly feels the same. Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. Leniana has built a network of spies beyond anything Thedas has seen. All this in precious little time conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. We have to defeat him first. Then I'll worry about what's next. Should that happen, the world will lie at your feet, more or less. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. I'll leave you to the garden. As you like. In all honesty, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh... If Curfius didn't even consider the idea that the Inquisition or similar forces would be uh, formed, it's possible that there's some mach there's some crazy machina machination that we're going to be re revealed to, like at the end of this. This was all a part of my plan that you would create this army to fight against me, so that I could do this crazy blood sacrifice, evil alchemy equivalent exchange bullshit to create a philosopher's stone to conquer the fate or whatever the fuck is going to go on. Uh, there's, there's some there's some crazy vil villain stuff that happens sometimes, but I wouldn't be surprised if just he was so full of himself and so sure of his success and his power and the way that he's above everyone else that he may have never even considered the fact that his very mo mo uh, his very act.
could fail and then also inspire his undoing. I would work on contacting the hero of Ferelden right now if I could, but, uh... Several of my uh, two of at least two of my operatives are still on several hour-long missions I'm, I'll probably want my best possible choice Available to me available to me at that moment and I think the only person available right now is Colin who may not even be Available for it. So we'll have to check in that in a future tight, but before I take a break Let's talk to Josephine just to see if we get an update Well, Liliana just gave me quite the speech What about? About us <sighs> Oh, she is impossible might we discuss this somewhere more private? Leliana said I was an innocent in love? More or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor, I, I assure you. Perhaps I should have composed a ballad then, or sent roses. What? You mean you do? We've only just... I didn't wish to presume you harbored any tender feelings for me. I have no objections. Presume away. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. How can you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? You have intelligence, elegance, and I always delight in your company. It seems most natural to want to be close to you. I would not object to a closer relationship between us, my lord. If that sounds agreeable to you. Nothing would make me happier. Well, then. Song as old as time. Beauty and the beast. It's kind of funny, really, because like like every Bioware game player, probably, I would kind of just select someone and just click the romantic options and just see what happens. Just every time I play one of these games, it's just kind of part of the routine. But something about doing it for a Let's Play series makes it incredibly awkward to be like, all right, people are watching. This doesn't... Suddenly you're like very self-conscious every time you choose romantic options, even if it's as a joke, just to see what'll happen, because it's like... Everyone's watching, though. This isn't private anymore. <laughs> How are you, my lord? Always better for the sight of you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> oh my, you flatter me much too much. Why was Leliana so set against us being together, Josephine? I'll think nothing of it. She'd disapprove of anyone I chose to keep serious company with. Back in Valroyo, Leliana was practically my older sister. So you two never had a romantic history together? A romantic... You did hear me say Leliana was like a sister to me. She's a most dear friend, and nothing more. Has our being together set any tongues wagging? Undoubtedly. A rumor already gave you a dozen suitors the moment you took your title. Who were these rumors pairing me with? I can only speak to what was whispered in several courts. Josephine. <sighs> to begin with, Cassandra, Leliana, Colin, Dorian, Mother Giselle, Enchanter Fiona, Chancellor Roderick, three R's, two counts, and some man named Philip. Honestly, I don't think he even exists. I I have to know. If someone knows in the in the, uh, in the comments, feel free to fill me in. I feel like the way that they they highlight Philip in that way as like, I don't think he even exists. I bet Philip's some kind of in joke or reference that I'm not getting. It seems like a specific joke. <laughs> I wanted to spend some time with just you and me, Josephine. Why? That sounds lovely.
Alright. So alone. Four feet away from Morgan. I'm, I mean, yeah, in a public place with everybody here. Alone. As opposed to her office where there's no one there. Because <laughs> there's no... <laughs> we went from a, an empty place to a completely crowded place. And I thought, we were, I thought we might talk, but no. Just very, very awkward Bioware, like, two pieces of metal clanging against each other style making out. <laughs> Alright, I'm back and it's the next day, and uh, just as a forewarning, if I sound any different this episode, it's because I'm a bit sick. Took something though for it, but it, that side effects may include nausea and drowsiness, so hopefully I can hold things together. Since time has passed, now everyone's available, so I can do contact the hero of Ferelden. Oh, it looks like Liliana's the only option for this one. Sister Leliana, none of our agents have seen the hero of Ferelden, but our normal work led us to the scattered re references of him passing through the area. It will take a serious commitment of resources, but we could c attempt to contact him. Sister Regen. Is that... Is that 15 days? Or 15 hours? How much time is that? Let me click on something that's... What's, what's something that's already clicked on? Uh, this thing's already clicked on. Uh, over here, Harden Hightown. Okay, so that those are just hours, I think. I don't know. I I, I assume that's just hours, because it, it can't be days. It's funny how you get. It's funny how you can just like the moment you question something that you look at all the time, suddenly you don't remember how it, how it's normally supposed to be read. All right, so Liliana, at your command, I will attempt to make contact. Let's you, see what we have. Get on that, Liliana. We'll see if we can make contact with a hero of Ferelden, which could be weird, because. I didn't. I haven't finished my playthrough of of of, uh, of Dragon Age Origins on this channel. Uh, hunt Theron Fall Redoubt Demon. So we sent out. Did we send? I guess we sent Liliana to, to do this. Well, more specifically, we sent the Chargers out with a little intel from Liliana. Right, that's what happened. Uh, Inquisitor, the demon was clever enough to impersonate everyone fr from Sinker Pentagast, the chief, to even me at one point. But we caught it and put it down. There wasn't much left of the body after we killed the thing, but it had missives of useful information. Most of them confirm what we already knew. The Elder One planning to kill Empress Selene and march an army of demons across Orlay. But I'll pass them to Sister Leliana regardless. Not only did we already know that, but it's a particular problem we've already fixed. The demon also helped, uh, held some items the Inquisition might find handy. Hope they help. Lieutenant Cremisius uh, Aklasi. So influence in, in essence as expected. We also sent out uh, reparations for Redcliffe. I believe this was Colin. Yep. Inquisitor, I'm pleased that we were able to work together for the betterment of the people of, Re of the Redcliffe Arling. May Andraste watch over you. Tegan. Then, on the far side, we should have sent... Yeah, Josephine's doing something in Orlay. Another step... Yet another step of alliances. From the heart. Lady de Rossier was all too glad to receive various concessions to abandon the current squabble in favor of more honorable pursuits. I believe they involved... Uh, acquiring various trophy animals in bloody fashion. That allows a less politically desirable, but more personally desired, pairing to occur. The wedding of Jekin Landre and Celeste Tybalt will bond their families in alliance to the chagrin of Lady Rushlow, the subject... Oh, to the, uh, to the, ch to the chagrin of Lady Rushlow, I suspect. Makers also only only true benefit make uh, matchmakers only truly benefit for when the names are sufficiently grand. The ceremony will take place in the capital. I'm sure it will be lovely, Josephine. Oh, great! An ornamental brooch for me to probably sell. That feels worth it. It says completed. Holy crap! It says completed. As in like, it didn't get replaced by another alliances quest immediately. That's so promising, because we could be done with that now. So I need missions for Cullen and for uh, Josephine. Now I know that somewhere in the hinterlands there should be there should be a new mission around here. I think for I thought we had an invitation from the mayor or something. Maybe that wasn't. Uh, I guess maybe that wasn't a map thing. It could have also been just a uh, an actual quest where I go visit the mayor myself. Unless it's over here. No. Yeah. Who knows? Could be all over the place. Let's do uh, continuing her predecessor's work. Continuing her predecessor's work, a neatly filed request for, uh, form copied in triplicate and delivered to the appropriate parties. Request an assortment of flora from southern Ferelden and an eastern Oleg, including several uncommon var varieties. See attached list. T tissue samples from several common herbivores. See attached list. 
access to accurate map of Southern Thetis and records, and records salvaged from Haven. Purpose. My predecessor, Menave, was studying al uh, alterations in feeding and migration patterns in several species following the appearance of the breach. Her work was left incomplete. I would finish it. Signed, uh, Halisma Darrington, Inquisitor Researcher. Inquisition Researcher, my bad. So, Josephine says, I can contact the University of Orlais to see if they have additional materials to aid the, aid the research. Uh, Cullen, our soldiers can gather the outstanding items. It will double as training exercise for our newer recruits. Uh, that actually is not a, not a terrible idea. Here we can use our resources with Josephine. And here, rather interestingly, we can uh, actually benefit our soldiers potentially doing some basic, uh, you know, basic formation and order following type Commands. Let's let, let's let Colin do that. Inquisitor. He's able to see extra benefit in it, so let's get, let him tackle it. I have this hard and oh, hard and high town busy, so Josephine can't tackle that one. As is often the case, I feel inclined to go head towards. Oh, okay. Orlais getting pretty sparse, so I don't have a lot to do with him. Negotiate a deal for weapon plans. All right. Negotiations. That's probably a Josephine mission. I recently became aware of a talent. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, you can't even send Colin on this one. I recently became aware of a talented of a talented and inventive young blacksmith from the Anderfells. Once we were introduced through my extensive connections, I negotiated a deal to obtain his weapon plans for the Inquisition. Unfortunately, I have just now been outbid by a nobleman, fr nobleman from Valdorma who maintains a private army. I would hate to lose those designs. Is there anything we can do, Sir Morris, at Quartermaster? Uh, Josephine says, I can attempt to find a compromise. Knowledge can be shared, after all. I'm sure the nobleman will be reasonable. Alright, uh, Liliana says, the Inquisition's need is greater. Leave this to me, I will have this nobleman persuaded. So, force, so we, do we want to use force or diplomacy, basically? And I'm going to go with diplomacy. Par uh, not, I'm, I won't, I won't, I won't pretend that it, it's uh, some, to some extent, weighted by the fact that Josephine's the one that's available. And I think that's a... I think that's a reasonable role-playing thing right there, is that the idea that, uh, hey, this sometimes you just, you're sending the person that's left for the job. That's how real organizations are led sometimes, is just, yeah, this is, there, I might have an ideal system in my head, uh, but sometimes you just send whoever's left. Not to say that I necessarily would have preferred Leliana's option, but I went with Josephine's sort of by default in this situation. And here is Iron Bull's new card. Marking the fact that he's gone and betrayed the Canari. Keeping the Darkspawn down. A surprising number of Darkspawn are surfacing on the Storm Coast, and it's up to the Inquisition to put them down. They appear to be sur uh, surfacing through tunnels. If these tunnels are sealed, it could keep the Darkspawn underground where they belong. So, uh, as you may have guessed from what I What the... Sarah? How are you hurt? Okay, I'll rest. We literally just spawned here and so somehow Sarah's hurt. Uh, so, as you may have guessed, uh, since I did Iron Bull's quest here on the Storm Coast, I sort of figured, hey, why not, pe uh, why not finish off some of these Storm Co uh, Co Coast quests that are left over? There's at least one, I think there's like one thing that's left over simply because I was too low level to deal with it at the time. Oh, are these guys going to be a problem? I do believe they're going to be a problem. Probably because they're, you know, they're just, just some assholes with demons and shit. It'll be fine. Ow. Extremely rude. I'll return the favor. Oops. Oh, hey, they're level 18. Okay. I should not be cautious. I should not be so foolhardy about this fight. These are actually... These okay, these guys are dangerous. These guys are dangerous. Oh, God. Okay, let's do a quick heal. Okay, I may have made a mistake by bringing just whoever I felt like with me in this fight, because I was not expecting to deal with a whole bunch of level 18s during this fight. Come on, let's get in. Oh, I just, I just shield bash nothing. Sit down! Take a break! <laughs> Let's do some shouting for some guard generation. I have, to be th I have to be smarter about this. I was going into this fight being relatively silly and nonsensical and just pressing buttons. Because, uh, I don't... Admittedly, when enemies are super low level, you don't have a lot of reason to think about your encounter. But, huh. Alright, I think I'll, I think I'll probably commit to this group because I've already brought them this far. I don't really feel like turning back right now. But yeah, the enemies are going to be level 18 around here. I'm going up, okay, I'm going up coast. If the enemies are going to be level 18 plus, there's, I mean, way more dangerous. See, that's what throws me off. Look at that. 
Level 11 Herlock. <laughs> Come on, man, really? Alright, let's do a shout. Just to make everyone powerful. Knock him on his ass. Hey, friend, how you doing? And then I knock him on his ass. Uh, then I knock him on his ass. You doing alright, buddy? Need to take a rest? Oh, oh, great. He's been cloned. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to always have a necromancer in the party. <laughs> I'm kind of doing it for the sake of conv uh, I'm mixing up the party for the sake of variety, and at the same time, also trying to avoid trying to take the uh, uh, Vivian out of the party a bit. Stupid darkspawn ruin everything. We're killing them, right? Because we are. <laughs> Sarah, it's good to have you back. Last time you were a regular part of the party was probably the last time I was in the Storm Coast. Actually, funny how that works out. But yeah, uh, uh, I'd say Iron Bull. No, what am I saying about Iron Bull? Uh, Vivian, not really the most favorable uh, person to have in your party, both because she messes with the game balance. Are there going to be... Is, there, is this a dark spawn cave? It's a spider cave. Is this where I'm trying to... Is this where I'm trying to go? Okay, those are dark... Those are ghouls, which I can't... Don't worry, that's not just you guys. I can't see shit in here right, right now either. Okay, so... I still didn't switch out Sarah's weapons. I'm being dumb, aren't I? All right, so... Let's go make a mess. You're on fire. And you're on fire. Everyone gets to be on fire. Wee. I should probably portal some I should probably bubble with my friends, shouldn't I? Whoops. Alright, alright. Everybody gets defense spells. There you go. Everyone's having a great time now. I should probably should have made sure that was gonna hit somebody. Whoops. <laughs> May have cast that at nothing. Wow. Well. I went from one kind of blind to another kind of blind when Iron Bull used that spell to make everything on fire. We're having a good time. Everyone's having a good time. Is that the mark that makes someone a... Oh, okay, that's the mark that makes someone a duplicate. I'm learning things. Hey, Iron Bull managed to not die during that fight. That's a surprise. Alright, so I assume there must be something I can do to, t to seal this tunnel. Huh. Is there... Something I can do to seal this tunnel? Is this even the tunnel? Huh. I gotta admit, if I if I have trouble finding each tunnel, this uh this quest might get old a little quickly as I try to just deal with the dock spawn menace. Well, I also think I've been in here before. Oh, energize. Oh. There you go. Found it. So they're coming, they're coming out of the hole in the wall, and now that I've moved a rock a bit, now, hole filled. So screw you, Darkspawn. Go back into Dragon Age Origins, where you guys belong. Alrighty, we're nearing the next tunnel we need to close. So let's keep a look around. Make a big old mess around here. Aw, oh, the ghoul thinks he's people. I mean, the ghoul thinks he's people. Not the ghoul. If a ghoul thinks he's people, that'd be really weird. Okay. Be very alarming for soccer players everywhere, because then... It's like, yes, put those balls in my mouth. That's apparently the joke I went for. I'm just gonna have to live with that for the rest of my life. Okay. So, any more ghouls all up around here? Or am I just gonna go and find a tunnel and that's it? I'm realizing now I may be making a mistake. I'm up here, but the tunnel's probably, I mean, as, as a, you know, based on just basic semantics, the tunnel's gonna be underground, isn't it? Yeah, it's somewhere near there. Is there a tunnel? Oh. It's probably in that cave. Okay. Going for a little jog. Don't hurt Sarah too much. Uh, okay. Physics was kind to me today. Obviously, I gave Sarah uh, Cole's bow, so she's not running around with daggers any anymore. It'd be, it'd be kind of a fun variety to have just someone switch to daggers here and there just for the sake of going through lower level areas, but of course, you then lose, tra you then, uh, lose most of your abilities because... Uh, your character's abilities are often based on their weapon type. One of the things that they do in this game that kind of restricts your ability to have variety. So, I'm gonna have to go down there, so... Let's see. Let's call a mountain. Don't have a lot of opportunity to, to utilize this cool power of the mount. By the way, this would be a bad time to find out that a patch changed this. We. Nope, pa a patch has not changed that yet. Are those... Uh-oh. Oh, okay, they're, they're dark spawn. That means they're not threatening. Bitch, I'm a, I'm an archer with a freaking guard generating bow. You can't do shit to me. That's what I thought. Yeah, let's do a flask of lightning. Flask of there we go. 
I have super speed, you can do shit to me. This actually feels really fun. Haha, -ha, super speed charging attack. That's funny, because it takes forever to charge that ability, but if I do, if I activate that, uh, Flask of Lightning, then suddenly that uh, super long casting time on that ability doesn't seem so long, because it's like moving super speed. I'd have to check exactly what it is, but I think Flask of Lightning may be near 100% at this point. Uh, speed reduction of 69% plus 39%, so, or 60% plus 39%, so, n yeah, 99%. So, at, so whenever I use Flask of Lightning as Sarah, people, fu people essentially completely stop moving. And so for, for like 10 seconds or however long it was, I get to just hang out and do whatever I want. And that's kind of fun. Among other things, it's kind of a neat opportunity because Sarah needs to generate her uh, bow can generate guard for her, so it means I get more attacks and in, in less time to generate more guard. So I came through here before, you may remember earlier in the series, before Skyhold, and I found a series of tunnels that I could not explore properly. I think there were I think there were ones I couldn't explore properly. Hello, friend. You can't catch me. Oh, I broke line of sight. Now this is pointless. Oh no. Still fun to do. <laughs> to be like, I have super speed, bitch. You can't do this. You can't do nothing about me. Uh oh. A deep stalker's gonna run inside and cause a ruckus. Uh oh. Got surprise company. Alright, how many more how many more are in there? I should really remap that button, shouldn't I? Let's do that real quick. There's a specific benefit to having skills on your front bar, so we'll do What if I'm oh, I'm I'm currently in combat still, so I can't do it. Okay. I was, oh, that's a Herlock Alpha in there. And I've got super speed. Hello, Herlock Alpha. You want to play a game? It's called You Dead. <laughs> this guy might go down before he... Re nope, never mind. I was going to say, like, he might go down before he even feels any of these arrows. Was not the case. Oh, no, did you knock me out of line of sight? Vast DY. Still, though, Sarah is not in danger of dying here with all this bonus uh, armor, that's for sure. Take him down. Yeah, that, 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 those alphas really like to persist, don't they? So while he, while that summon is still around, I'm probably still in combat. So I'll go ahead and deal with the closing that barrier first. I'll have to switch to Dorian, the spellcaster. Let's look for an, a rock to energize. That went pretty well, I think. Here we go. Way to go. All right, back to Sarah. Now that we're out of combat, I think. Let's remap these buttons, swap poison weapons with poison flask, I mean with the uh, lightning flask. There we go. Now, see, the, the thing here is that, uh, this is, an, this is an issue specific to console players and not PC players, but, uh, since you only get four skills uh, visible at once and have to pull the trigger to see the other ones, uh, you basically want to put the four skills that you want to actively, uh, monitor the cooldowns of on your front page. Hello, Herlock. That's adorable. Bye! <laughs> That's fun to do. Just casually run past that dude. Maybe let maybe a little uh, dangerous to just run away from my allies, of course. But I'm just having fun with the flask of lightning right now. And shoot! Oh, I'm about to shoot nothing with that. Anyone else around? All right, no one else is around. This is fun. But yeah, you you can only see you can only really monitor the cooldowns of the skills that are visible all the time. Otherwise, you have to pull tr the trigger to watch. So it makes sense to put flask on the front page if I'm gonna want to play with it a lot. Those look like dark spawn to me. All right, let's hop off. Eventually, there you go. So yeah, apparently you can ride the mount as someone besides the main character. There's no particular reason why I thought that wasn't the case, but I did not think that was the case. Aha! I'm charging up in slow motion, so you can't react. Oh, I, sh I really should be pulling the trigger this whole time. I don't know why I wasn't. It's I love that there was such a delayed reaction where he finally fell asleep so much longer after I initiated it. So he's level eight. The scaling is really all over the place in this game, isn't it? Yeah, they're all level 8 here now. We just we were just fighting level 11 dark spawn. They're actually going down in level over time. And I believe I'm level, like level 18 or something, so a little awkward. I think the weirdest thing is everyone still breathing? Lovely. I think one of the weirder things about this game is the fact that enemies in the same zone don't scale as much as each other. So it leads to very strange effects. I was concerned I might have trouble finding this uh, cave in particular because uh, it's not a cave on the map. But looks like I found it no problem. 
So it's just one little opening. There we go. Good thing I didn't opt to bring like three rogues in the party or something today. Because we clearly need the uh, spellcaster around.